Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. Today we'll be diving into Dropbox Paper. We're going to explore Dropbox's application as it takes on the document space, especially with folks like Coda, Notion, and many more that are playing in this space right now. Now, many people don't know that Dropbox Paper actually originated from Hackpad, which was acquired by Dropbox back in 2014. It sort of spiraled into Dropbox Paper, and it's now their go-to document application. We're going to explore how it works, what you need to know about the resource, and everything about the pricing and details like that. Now, before we begin, today's video is sponsored by Pipedrive. Here's a little bit more about them. So folks, it is great to have Pipedrive back as a sponsor here on Keep Productive. If you don't know what Pipedrive is, it's a powerful sales CRM software. Now, since we last showed them off, they've actually released a new part of Pipedrive. It's called Lead Suite, and it's a fully GDPR compliant way to get more leads before they drift elsewhere. It's a set of features that are available to add to any Pipedrive CRM subscription. So they include a chatbot for automatically engaging with your web visitors 24 seven, live chat, which basically adds a human touch, allowing you to take over conversations from the chatbot anywhere at any time, web forms to help you create really attractive ways to capture useful information, as well as Prospector for finding your next business opportunity from a global database of 400 million profiles. Now what's really cool with Prospector is you can build a persona of your target customers and use your credits to reveal high quality leads generated based on that ideal customer. You have also got Leads Inbox, a perfect way to manage all your leads in one central location. With all of the lovely features included like chat integrations, labels, filters and activities that you know and love inside of Pipedrive already. Now, if you want to try out Lead Suite, we've got an extended free trial of 30 days, it's normally 14, and 25% off your first three months. You can find the link in the description. Thanks again to Pipedrive for coming on to Keep Productive, and we really hope you enjoy this feature spotlight. So, as you can imagine, Dropbox Paper is very similar to the likes of Google Documents, allowing you to create documents and be able to share them with other team members. However, it actually adds a little bit more of a layer than the likes of Google Docs. So inside the Dropbox Paper, you can collaborate with others in a much more multimedia and interactive way, assigning tasks, assigning people to specific tasks, and even deadlines and dates. There's even a really cool feature that allows you to plan a timeline view. So in order to create a paper document, as you can see here, you go ahead and press create paper document. So as you can see here, it looks very similar to most document applications, very clean and simple to use. Now Dropbox Paper actually uses a 30th of the size of an average document. So that's something to note when it comes to the storage size. It's a lot smaller than the average document. So just to give you understandings of the basics, you can start typing the name of the document here. And below, you can start typing the body. Now, some of the things that make it a little bit different to Google Documents, you can link a calendar event here. You can connect to your Google or Office 365 and actually connect them to meetings. So you can maybe make meeting notes or even plan your daily agenda. As you can see down here, this is a toolbar. From here, you can add a timeline and any of the multimedia you wanna add can be added through here. And you've got all of the great sharing abilities up here. So before we move on, I wanted to point you towards the storage. So on the free plan, which is called Dropbox Basic. So with the Dropbox Basic plan, it's free with two gigabytes of storage, one user, and you'll be able to out download the desktop applications for camera uploads. Now, as I said, when it comes to Dropbox Paper, it's actually free across the board, no matter what plan you're on, and it will use a lot smaller size. So that's why they don't actually state how much storage is available through Dropbox Paper. However, totally in your account, if you were just using Dropbox Paper, that you have two gigabytes for. So Dropbox Paper is being used for a range of different things right now. As you can imagine, brainstorming is one of the most popular ones. The great thing about Dropbox Paper is you can add in multimedia that represents not just images, but also videos that can be played and any Dropbox file that you have stored in your account. So one of the things a lot of people like to use Dropbox Paper for is actually managing meetings because you can link it to your calendar event, but then you can actually organize your team meeting and go a bit further. One of the cool things inside of Dropbox Paper is Templatize, 
which allows you to template any page that you create. And you can also visit their templates and use one of theirs. So when it comes to actually uploading a Dropbox paper file, you can start by creating your own Dropbox paper, or you can actually add a shortcut in, which actually allows you to add a link to any of your websites you're using. This is perfect if you actually wanted to save a Trello board or something else that you're currently using with you and your team. You can upload Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint presentations, as well as Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. This is what all your files looks like on home, but the desktop application looks actually a lot smoother than this and allows you to pin certain things to the top, which gives you more real estate to play with. So whenever you're inside a Dropbox paper, you can go up to the top right hand corner and actually see the tasks that have been assigned to you per document, or by a document, which is very helpful. You can also see the tasks for others and the ones that have been completed. You can also have them associated by date. One of the great things is, is when you create a to-do, you can naturally move it around and instantaneously a due date and an assignee comes up. So as you can see here, I can run errand for Simon with me tagged to it. That's both tomorrow and my name. You can add comments here, adding some GIFs and more details like that. Now Dropbox Paper works on both the desktop editions and also on mobile, so you can actually interact on the go. One of the special features that works inside a Dropbox paper is a timeline view. And this is something that's actually only been recently added inside of Notion, but this has been around since early 2019. So you can add a task and even give it an assignee, as well as a start and end date, as well as changing the color palette. This is perfect for if you're organizing inside of a team and you want to be able to visually see what things are coming up, especially when it comes to projects. So what's really great is if you have the Dropbox Paper mobile application, you can open and edit paper documents offline. Now, when it comes to choosing Dropbox Paper, who do we most recommend it for? Now, Dropbox Paper is really easy to use. And for those who want a more multimedia, creative-focused Google Documents, this might be a great tool for you. But there are many who are actually using it as a wiki, allowing the company to create documents and onboarding information so that they can basically have everything in one place. It's especially helpful if you're looking for somewhere else to store your documents instead of Google Drive. You want greater creativeness and also interactivity inside of the document. Anyway, folks, this was an overview of Dropbox Paper. We'll be back very soon with another feature, so feel free to subscribe here to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Anyway, folks, a big thank you, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheerio.